when it comes down to actually determining the salary, there's not that cost thing that goes on. It's a, that's, in a, that's in a closed floor room. You're doing way more than that. That's a, that's a, it's a, I hear what you're saying, absolutely, for a public narrative. But the reality is that these terms get negotiated in closed rooms. With the so, I'm not going to tell you what, what to do with your time. Right. I'm saying that the city council. I know like, that would be a harder battle, right? I, because I, they, they obviously want to keep their jobs. That's what I, what I'll tell you is that you and, and other folks in the city have pushed the council pretty far. And we're going as far as we can go right now. And the way that government is split out so that power is in different buckets so that not one person can make all the decisions. There's other people that you also have to engage. So I don't think this has really been brought up because I'm people that know that. I mean, yes, people know. Right? Shaking off the ground. I'm aware of my story. Yeah. And I'm um, the other guy who runs it. Or, uh, I would love to have a couple of people with two sides. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to keep six feet, but also here. So, how is the city planning to deal with all of the lawsuits that are coming? Because the same people who are getting tear um, gas, um, the same people who are getting hurt by the cops. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of lawsuits coming in. Like, how are we going to pay for that? Is that the taxpayers paying for that? That's, so, so that's one of... Jenny Durkin's personal like, payment? Like, so, one of the amendments that I've brought forward is... <laughs> Is asking those very questions. I'm working with Councilmember Herbold to say one of the reports that PD has to report to me for them to be able to use their budget is for them to tell me how many how many payouts that they've that they've had to pay out um, and other demographic information regarding that. I the, so again the way that power is split out amongst many people. The city attorney is a separately elected official. I'm not a lawyer, thank God, but. So I don't have that type of, I don't have that information so at my fingertips. Yeah, so maybe Lewis would be yeah, a better person to ask. Yeah, he's a lawyer. Yeah. yeah, he actually works for the city attorney. So he probably does have a better idea. But I'll tell you, it's going to be a lot of money. So, so I guess I'm going to ask you guys about the budget that you're talking about. Yeah. Because you're talking about the budget that you're talking about. Yeah, I have a related question to that. Yeah. If, Thank you. If they've dumped that much tear gas and other chemical agents into the streets, I assume that's entered the waterways. Is the city going to be paying up for what I assume will be copious environmental lawsuits, or is that going to be the cops? Those are good questions. Because... Well, so the cops are... So, I mean, let's be honest about what government is. The cops, the cops are part of the city. Right. So, even if they're paying out, it's, the same, it's splitting hairs. I mean, it's, the city will be paying. But. And in the new amendment for the workers, isn't it kind of like expand, right? Like... I don't. Oh, I, I don't, I don't. So if that would have been the case, that's ten thousand dollars per person that would like to go to city council and say I was injured in a protest. Here are my scars. Here are my bruises. They could have gone to education, or they could have put every loss essentially. There's money that could be better spent in the city. Is I understand that the money is fungible, but if you're going to be saying we do technically have two buckets here, one is education and one is the cops, are we going to say that, well, we have to pay this money because we poisoned the waterway, are we going to take that out of the education or are we going to take that out of the cops or are we just going to bring everything down? There's a whole separate fund for payouts. Okay. And then just because we're on the topic of how they separate government, I'm just going to keep going down on it. Which is that the teachers are paid out by the state. Okay. 
So the city doesn't fund education. The city, the city of Seattle does have that we do fund education, and it and it only started about six to eight years ago. So and it's only it's only extras on top. So it's again it's that's the state. So. It's, it's, and I, I'm not trying to pass the buck. I guess I'm just trying to be real. No, I understand that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I actually wanted to ask you about education. Yeah. So you're, I'm from my hometown. I live in like a very different city. I don't know how, like, there are some schools that are clearly just like way shittier than others. Yeah. And like, how, how can we change that? How can we make it to where kids in Seattle, like, schools are getting the same high school child? They're not like, you know, little girls spending a ton of money and yeah. then like South Seattle getting like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, how, how does that, I, I would, I, Want to do something for that, but I have no idea where the starting stuff. You know, like why some schools are so underfunded and others aren't. So again, that's a so the Seattle school districts are again separately elected officials, uh-huh. and their funding comes from the state government, who are also separately elected officials. So you've got state legislators making choices about how much money goes to each district, and then at the district level, then there's the board of directors who make additional decisions. And then what's unique about Seattle, what I was talking about with us funding education, is that from our families' education and early learning levy, we provide extra dollars to schools that are being underfunded. So, that, I mean, the, that's the way that the city's trying to, trying to right this wrong. The other way to do it is, you know, PTAs are... Uh, this report, like the PTA support is disproportionate depending on what school you go to. Um, and I know that some, I don't have kids, but you know, I know that some people. It sucks. It, it, like, it's crazy yeah. that like, kids aren't getting the blood. It's crazy. 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 So school board, you said like at a district level to the state board says how much money goes to the district. And then the Seattle like one district, which I, I don't know about yeah. Seattle's one. We're school district number one. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. So then this so the city the state says, okay, we're getting this much money from Seattle schools. And then our elected school officials and stuff have to then decide how much money goes off from there. That's my understanding, but again, I'm not a parent or a school board member, so.
in these five seconds and you're thinking like, oh yes, we can we can totally close these out in a year. This is gonna take What is your confidence level in the art of man? So again, I'm going to talk about disaggregation of power into different levels, right? So, number one, I think that we can be successful in the fall budget. I don't think that we can be successful in this budget, in the rebound. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, I am asking for your opinion as an insider. So, what do you think will happen? So, so again, it depends on how long you keep you keep the pressure up. That's, that's, I mean, that's. (laughs) But that's the that's the real answer. Okay. We'll sustain, we look at we look at movements from a historical lens and sustain movements to get to demand. Yeah. So, so you feel like um, you, you you do foresee us having a 2021 Seattle budget, SBD budget by 50%. From the numbers that I've seen right now, there's a pathway. Okay. Now you're there's. there's there's also a lot of legalese that I'm not that I wasn't gonna bullshit you with earlier, which is you know we're gonna cut a hundred officers and then that's gonna go into lawsuits, that's gonna go into arbitration, that's gonna go into all of these different things, and that process will determine what we can do in September. I mean that's like I'll be I'll be honest. With you. Okay, so you think that we can get that demand met, but it's not yeah. the I, I see, I see a pathway there. Uh-huh. But again, like, <laughs> if, it, if come September 5th, nobody's marching anymore, nobody's marching anymore. Oh, will be. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. That feels kind of bothersome in the sense that, like, if you're just going to be fighting, we won't stop harassing the city. That means you guys also don't know what these people are and what they're about, right? Like, if it's going to be, you know what I mean? Like, politicians can only move as far as the public will push. I said that to you the last time we talked, and you didn't like when I said that. But it's oh, the no, truth. So, so, do you mean that in the sense that there are people out there who don't want to do it? And, yeah. and they're only going to be able to strong arm them if I haven't seen them on council, but but, no, I haven't seen them at council. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Are you all the ones that keep going to Deborah's house? (laughs) We can't confirm or deny. Okay, well, you just be nice to her. We're nice. (laughs) I'm like, is the is being? uh, I'm sorry, but is being called a bitch the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Because I'm sorry, the first time I found out I was black, I got told we don't serve niggers here. That was that's some shit. And that keeps happening again. So I'm sorry. Get on the right side of this thing. <laughs> but that's not us. You can't confirm it back. Okay. Just, you know. <laughs> you were nicer. Yeah. She means a lot to me. Just a she little. She means a lot to me. Can you tell her to come outside and have a chat? I will ask her next time I talk to her. Because she's also got MS. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that. Like, yeah. So there's like. We feel. There's nice. like. There's, well, it's, it's a health thing. Yeah. Because she's got an autoimmune issue. Okay. So that if she does come outside, you guys got to give her 20 feet. We'll give her 20 feet. We, we can call with her. We can do a bull horn. Whatever you want. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, we can make like a take, care, take care of her for me, will you? Yeah, we will. That's, 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 you guys have these asks of me. That's my only ask of you. Take care of Deborah. Yeah, that's a good one. I got a right here. So if we, if the council does potentially process to do fund SPD by 50%. Do you think the potential exists for uh, potentially which is a restoration by Yep. I mean, it's to the point where these officers that we're talking about right now, right now, they need to be legally required to retire their pay to And where would that money go? Like, what pot would that be? From, from their budget. That's why we, that's why we can't We've, we've stopped their, we're, we're going to stop their ability from spending their money, which is why they have to wait to get off. So we can't use that money until we know that we're not going to have to pay them back. That's where the 17 million is going to be. Because we can't take it out of the budget to pay out the universe. Because there's a real, like there's a legal reality that we will have to hire those officers back and pay them back. So we're taking a vacation. Because our, our... I'm, ju- I'm just being completely honest. Understood. 
show you. Don't worry, Mr. Trump. You are going to get a full experience.
And so there are no babies. Can everybody say yes? Yes. 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 All right. Safety. 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 If there are people out on the streets yelling at us, we do not engage. <laughs> Unless you are an organizer or a security team. Also, if there is a car that is coming towards us, we run away from it, not towards it. If there is a gun, we go to the opposite side. So we say, mind my business. Mind my business. Mind my business. Mind my business. So TK can mind her. 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 All right. Can mind her. Also, when it comes to damaging property or anything, if you are not black, do not do that. You are putting our lives at risk by doing that. So please do not do that. I think that's I think that's everything. I would just say this now for like the people here because like, some people wouldn't understand us if we say it on the mark. Like when we say booty cheeks, it's not nothing perverted. It just means come together. It's another way. It's catchier. It's catchier than just saying come together, you know? So don't think, don't think it's a perverted thing. It's totally normal to say come together in a catchier way. Just so we don't have to say Now. Hey, can we get everybody on the street? Off the sidewalk and in the streets. 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 We're going to go over hand signals real quick. So if I am just holding this up like this, it usually just means hold the line. Uh, and I will usually yell hold for everyone. Left and right are just the directions. And anytime you see someone put a hand signal up in front of you, make sure you put that hand signal up as well because not everyone can see my light from all the way in the back. So you putting up your hand signal for the safety of everybody in the group. Um, if we do this, it means quiet down the group. Um, I'm missing one. What's the one I'm missing? Can everyone do this hand signal? Stop with your hand. It's going to look like this. I'll hold up my light. Um, that's perfect. Everybody did it right. Left Booty and right. Uh, literally just left and right. Yeah, we did amazing. Uh, and then, yes, tighten up. And booty get together. Um, so that's all of them. Y'all got it. That means also from the front, get together to the back and like this side. So it's a whole box. Tighten up. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Got it? Got it. Alright, let's roll. Bulls Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter!
Tower. You got the influence. You got the power. To
there you have it. Once again, another day, another protest. It seems like they do this every day. If anybody wants to see more, it's Swagger Brand 1. Swagger Brand 1, and you'll find out more about what's going on in this town. I'll tell you what, it's something else. You talking about these kids? <laughs>